Every day, media bombards us, whether we tune into television or go for a jog. It's our ability to access, analyze, evaluate, and create media in a variety of forms which makes us media literate. But what exactly does media literacy mean? You know, it takes time to cultivate, one by one, people who are um, knowledgeable about the term. The term still needs clarity, media literacy. So it took several years prior to actually starting the organization um, to make people understand that this is an academic field. Faculty and students have a lot to gain from developing their understanding of media literacy because it applies across so many disciplines and in so many personal and professional ways. Uh, the opportunity to develop uh, one's own understanding of media literacy is really valuable for both students and teachers. It bears thinking about and it, um, and it should um, be thought about seriously because of the barrage of media messages that bombard us daily. Subconsciously, we don't think about all the media that surrounds us. We can filter all of the messages we want to hear. But what about those messages we don't think about? How do those messages affect us on a daily basis? Well, it certainly has an effect. At home, it has an effect, you know, where, where we sit in our household with the many types of technology that we engage with or, or you know, involuntarily there is media around us. Um, so it has an effect on us. It has an effect on how we understand communication. Media are all around us all the time and we need to know how to negotiate media. If we care about, if we care about our health, if we care about our society in terms of public policy, if we care about our elections, um, that's why media literacy is so important because it's a lifelong survival skill and you need those critical thinking skills when you need to make decisions about important things. Being media literate is just as important as being able to read and write. Media literacy allows us to interact with our ever-changing environment. We interviewed educators to try to understand their existing knowledge and attitudes. Once a group of us felt that there was that critical mass, we called a group, uh, a meeting together, and uh, Lo and behold, out of this you know, invitation came about 65 people. Uh, and really it was at that point that we felt, okay, we have to start meeting and start talking about this um, and see where we go with it. It would involve public, private, volunteer, and independent sector citizens. Um, it would involve the region. And um, we were very lucky. The cooperating school districts of Greater St. Louis, now an organizational member, let us come to their offices and we met there monthly and we were having programs. The organization has been around for six years and this is their third annual Media Literacy Week. The goal for Media Literacy Week is to get a conversation going about media literacy and the importance of media literacy education. And it's really about community, and it's really about the region. I'd like in my lifetime to make sure that all 70 million children who attend American public schools have some exposure to media literacy in their lifetime. Now, it turns out that there's some progress toward that goal and some reasonable expectation of its success. So programs like the St. Louis Media Literacy Week help enormously to increase the visibility for media literacy, the understanding of its importance as a basic, fundamental life skill that we all need, students, teachers, and all of us, young and old. Um, so uh, opportunities like this are vital to spread the word about the value of media literacy as a life skill. 
Our ability to interpret media messages on a daily basis is crucial. Media will always be around us, and when we take an active role in the messages we hear, we take control of our understanding. For more information about Media Literacy Week, visit www.gatewaymedialiteracypartners.org.